Ciao ragazzi, I'm Danilo, Happy New Year and welcome back to another video. Recently, the amazing guys at Enya Music sent me their brand new Enya X3 Pro acoustic carbon fiber guitar, which is the little sister to the X4 Pro acoustic guitar that I used in this video. This one is cheaper and easier to use, since all you have is this one magic button called SP1 that allows you to have reverb, chorus, wah and delay coming out directly from the whole of the guitar, and you can switch between these effects simply by pressing it. I will explain how the guitar works a bit later in the video, but now I really wanted to put it to the test. Today we're gonna check out 10 of the best acoustic guitar riffs and intros ever written, but they are still quite easy to play if you're a beginner and you want to improve your playing. So, without further ado, let's get into the very first riff. Let's kick things off with one of my personal favorite acoustic riff. It's very famous and easy to play. The only obstacle you can encounter is a C minor chord, but I'm pretty sure you can handle that. The song is called Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day. Now let's move to another super super simple intro, but it's so iconic that it deserves to be here on the list. It only uses three chords, it has a pretty straightforward rhythm pattern, but you need a capo on the third fret. Here's Free Falling by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. At position number 8 we find one of the most important band in the history, the Beatles. But probably this is not the song you will expect, like Blackbird for example, which absolutely deserves to be in a top 10 acoustic guitars, don't get me wrong. But it's more difficult to play and we are trying to keep things very simple here. I'm talking about Norwegian Wood. This is a great exercise to start implementing a simple melody over a chord progression and to be able to play everything at once. This next riff needs no introduction. Amazing song, amazing band and musician and everything. I'm talking about More Than A Feeling by Boston. You will technically need a 12 string guitar, but if you don't have one, it's not a problem. It's still gonna sound good. Now, let's play the riff. At position number 6 we find another very easy but iconic intro that uses simple chords like C major, G major, A major and D major, but there are some alterations to these chords with their sus2 and sus4 versions. If you find it difficult at first, don't panic, all you need is just a little patience. We are now getting in the top half of the list, where things get juicy and a tiny bit more complicated. But before we proceed, let me explain how this guitar works and why what you're hearing is pretty cool. Like I said, this guitar is called the Inia X3 Pro. It's a 41-inch acoustic guitar that has two main features. As you can clearly see by this beautiful top, it's made from carbon fiber, which means it's very sturdy and resistant to temperatures and humidity changes, which makes it perfect if you want to play outside, for example. You won't have to worry about cracks or the neck bending in any way. By the way, this is one of the few carbon fiber guitars that also features an adjustable truss rod, which is always very handy. 
The other main feature is the SP-1 pickup system, which is being controlled by the only knob on the guitar. Press the knob to turn on the guitar, and now you have four different effects to choose from. Reverb, delay, wah, and chorus. For all these songs that I'm playing, I'm using the built-in reverb, and in some of them also the chorus, and it's all been recorded with a microphone, no cables. Everything you hear is coming directly out from the guitar. You can rotate the knob to decide the mix of the effect, and also use the built-in speaker to play backing tracks, for example, using the companion app that connects to the guitar via Bluetooth. The guitar has a USB-C port for charging that also works for recording, so you won't need an external audio interface. If you want to know more about the Anya X3 Pro, check out the links down in the description below. And now, let's continue with the list. Grab a friend or, more simply, teach your evil twin brother how to play guitar, just like I usually do. Because this next intro is way more fun when played with someone. There is a main riff in A minor and a super super simple guitar solo on top of it. So this could be your chance to learn also some lead playing. The song is called The Unforgiven by Metallica. I'm sorry, but I had to put another Beatles song in this list. Still, no Blackbird, but I think this one is just as famous. For this one, you'll need a capo on the 7th fret, and the chords are still simple, but just like Norwegian would, you have chords and melody at the same time. So this is the main part you will need to focus on. The song is called Here Comes the Sun. We have now reached the lowest spot on the podium. This next riff is actually very, very easy to play, but here to put it this high in the chart. I think this is the main song every beginner learn, and there's a very good reason for that. It's so good and iconic that it deserves all the credit. I'm talking about Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. The runner-up place for today's video belongs to one of my all-time favorite songs, and band This is one of those riffs that sounds more complicated than it actually is, and it's super fun to play. Yes, you will need a 12-string guitar also for this one, but again, it still sounds amazing also on a 6-string. I'm talking about Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. And here we are, position number one. This is definitely the most complicated intro on the list, and there are only two rules to play this one. First, you will need to practice it a lot to be able to play it smooth and with no interruptions. And second, but most importantly, never, never play this riff in a guitar store. Yes, we are talking about Star Way to Heaven by Led Zeppelin.
And there we have them. These were my top 10 and easy to play acoustic intros. Huge thanks to Enya Music for sending me over the X3 Pro that I use to make this video. And don't forget to check the links out if you want to know more about this guitar. Okay, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!